ready to go out shopping with Bubby and Mama? I'm ready to go shopping. <laughs> Bubby and Daddy. Bubby and Daddy? Mm -hmm. Daddy's not coming. Okay. You look so cute in your little nutcracker sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. What is it? That's a Ooh, a wheel. Where'd you get that? From the truck. From the truck? Yeah. I don't know what it is about you, but uh, you look so fine, riding shotgun in my car, top down when driving on the highway, the wind in our hair makes us look like movie stars. So I just got back from the mall. I went shopping for a little bit to get some stuff for the baby moon trip coming up that I'm going on with some of my girlfriends. I got some really cute things. So many of y'all said that you wanted to see a baby moon haul in my last video so i'm definitely gonna do a baby moon haul for you Mommy. what I orange you want orange juice uh -huh. okay i ordered a bunch of stuff online as well so i'm gonna wait until i have everything in then i will do a baby moon haul so it'll probably be up um like right before we leave um oh honey we don't have any more orange juice babe i gotta go to the store tomorrow okay The bottom? Yeah. <laughs> I know, but honey, we don't even have any orange juice. I can give you some water. It was so hard to shop when I am pregnant and like, I just feel so big. <laughs> like, it was so much different than when I shopped for Vegas. Trying on bathing suits when you're pregnant is not the funnest, to be honest. So, I think I did find, um, a couple really cute suits though that look good with my belly that like look good on my body so i actually also went to motherhood maternity and i picked up a few like pants like loungewear clothes so i left my bag in the car but i want to show you guys what i got cam stay here okay, okay. what are you looking for oh. he always puts the dirty fork that he uses back into the drawer and i'm like oh no all right stay here hun Underwear for you? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Alright, so I bought a bunch of bras. It was like buy three, get one free. So I bought this nursing bra. So it detaches right here so you can breastfeed and it's so soft. No underwire. Like I tried it on in the store. I also got it in nude. And then I got these two. There's no padding or anything in here. You just like pop your boob out right there. These are also motherhood maternity. Um, and then I got one in gray too. So these are more just to lounge in like around the house and stuff. And then I got these so that I could actually like wear these under clothes when I go out. I bought two pairs of lounge pants. I actually bought these when I was pregnant with Camden, like literally these exact same um, black lounge pants, but I'm gonna throw them out cause they're like so old and I think they have a hole in them. They just have like a thicker band up here. They're just like really, really cozy and soft. Also by the motherhood maternity brand. And it was buy one, get one 50% off. Um, so they're like, they're just cozy. I mean, they're not cute, but they're very comfortable for like around the house. And then I also, let's see what else. I also got the same lounge pants in gray because I did say it was buy one, get one 50% off. So they had a lot of like deals going on today. And then I bought this dress. I don't really know where I'm going to wear it, but I just thought it was cute. It's going to be hard to get on camera, but it's, um, got like these longer sleeves here. I think they're like three quarter inch sleeves and it's so soft. It's like the softest material. It's very stretchy. Um, and then it goes all the way to the ground. So it's like a maxi dress, but it's like tight fitting. It shows off the bump and it's so, so cute. What are you doing? I'll try and link it below if I can find it on their site. 
All right, you guys, so this is my outfit of the night. I'm about to go meet some girlfriends for dinner, and I really, like, don't even know what to wear because I'm not fitting in anything. But I put on, like, one of these little stretchy maternity black tank or T-shirts, and then I have a cute little bralette under it. Um, I'm wearing my maternity jeans, as you can see. <laughs> Um, and these are from, I think like AG Jeans or something like that. They're like my favorite. They're so, so cute. And then I just threw on like this black, um, like cozy cardigan because I know I'm going to be freezing cold and I don't know what else to wear with this outfit. Um, so I kind of want to wear heels. I was thinking about wearing these, but I just don't know if they go because they're brown. Although I wear black and brown all the time together. I know some people are like totally against it. <clears throat> Krista, but I think it's cute together. I don't know. I've always worn black and brown together, so I think I just might wear these because I think they're so cute and I haven't worn them in a really long time. This is my non alcoholic lemonade mango. What is this? Mango passion fruit? I don't know some kind of mango lemonade, but I have the guy add jalapeno so that I feel like I'm drinking an actual margarita Jenny Real one. I know I want her margarita so bad Adrian has to scoop out her own special guacamole because she will not eat jalapenos. All right, how much is too much? Hey guys, so it is the next day. I didn't finish vlogging last night because I got home from dinner pretty late. Um, our dinner definitely ran late for girls night, but it was just so much fun. So yeah, last night I went out to dinner with my friend Jen, who you guys pretty much know. She's been on my vlogs before. Um, I've been like best friends with her since West Virginia. And her good friend, Adrian, um, I met for the first time last night. We had dinner and We've been talking like online and stuff and I've heard all about her from Jen. So she's super, super sweet, like so much fun, so cool. Um, I honestly love her. And so we met for the first time last night. It was so exciting and we had such a fun time, you guys. Like I needed that girl's night out so bad to get out with some girlfriends, have some dinner, no drinks, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> I had really good guacamole, really good queso, and some bomb shrimp fajitas. Yeah, so my friend Adrienne, who I met last night for the first time, she actually has a YouTube channel. Um, I think she started it pretty recently, I wanna say, but um, her name's Adrienne Blair, and she also does like mommy videos and stuff like that. I'll link her channel down below if you guys wanna check it out, but she's super sweet. I think you guys will really, really like her. So I'm on my way to the grocery store right now. It's Super Bowl Sunday, um, but we are out of groceries for the week, so I have to pick some stuff up. I'm also planning to eat super healthy from now on. I've just like been eating literally whatever I wanted, and it's just not working for me anymore. My cellulite is just getting out of control at this point. I started working out the other day just at home. I've been using like this app from, I don't know if you guys follow Alexa Jean on Instagram. She, um, is like a fitness model and stuff. She's super cute. So I downloaded her new fitness app. I think it's called Bod by Lex. And she has like a whole pregnancy section on there too. She has like first trimester, second trimester, and I think third trimester hopefully is coming out soon. But I'm obviously using the second trimester workout and I'm loving it so far. I'm also doing cardio on my treadmill. So I'm really trying to get in better shape just to feel better about myself and get rid of the cellulite. I'm gonna try my hardest to stop eating cheese, even though last night, of course, I had queso. The waiter like came over with this queso and was like, do you guys want this? Like, it's free. And I was just like, yes. Like, how can you say no to free queso? I mean, I was at Mexican dinner, like, come on, you know? You can't not eat the queso. So, from here on out, I'm trying to stay away from cheese, even though here I am saying that I'm not gonna eat cheese, yet tonight I'm going to pick up pizza for the Super Bowl. And duh, like, of course I'm gonna eat the pizza. So we'll start tomorrow with the no cheese diet, okay? I'll let you guys know how that goes. 
but I wanted to mention that like I've seriously been loving my hair I curled it yesterday to go out for girls night and it's still like super curled today I haven't touched it today. I can never use anything else other than my new me wand I swear it like holds my curls for days But that's besides the point. I think the color is just perfect I have to give another shout out to my stylist Jamie because I legit have never loved my hair this much and she just did such a perfect job. But I'm bringing this up because I wanted to ask you guys your recommendations for purple shampoos. I have been using the Kristen S one from Target and I like it, but honestly, it does not sud up. Like it's one of those shampoos that like you put in your hair and it's like you put water in your hair. Like I can't sud it up. Like there's no leather. Is that the word? <laughs> I don't even know if I'm like explaining this right. I think you guys understand what I'm saying. I can't like wash it because the, the bubbles aren't there. I need to find a different purple shampoo that actually will like wash my hair. And I don't know if it's because I have too much hair or what. But anyway, if you guys have any recommendations for like your favorite purple shampoos, please, please leave them down below because I need a new one. But anyway, um, I need to head in now to the grocery store because it's getting late. Super Bowl starts in a couple hours and I still have like a bunch of things that I need to do at home. That's what I was trying to do. Hey guys, so I'm gonna try and do this grocery haul pretty quickly because there's just so much stuff. All right, so I got some whole wheat fajitas. I'm gonna make enchiladas this week and this is what I use for our enchiladas. And then I got some of these garden spinach herb wraps for myself for like egg wraps or chicken wraps or whatever I want to do, even like tuna. Um, I picked up some of these Power Crunch protein bars. Usually you guys know I love my Luna bars, but they were like completely out of them. I think I saw these on Aaron's Instagram story earlier and I used to eat them and they were really, really good. So I picked some of these up. I got the French vanilla cream, the chocolate mint, the peanut butter cream, and the red velvet. Um, and then I got two things of romaine lettuce because I'm going to make a grilled chicken salad for dinner tomorrow night. Um, I'm going to give this to Alex. I'm probably just going to use some spinach. And then I bought some broccoli for dinner, some bananas. Um, I got some little halos. I got raspberries, blueberries, and two things of strawberries. And then I got a rotisserie chicken. And then I got a bunch of raw chicken breasts for dinners. I got some basmati rice and some brown rice for dinners. I got two red bell peppers and a cucumber. Um, some whole grain linguine. This is for Alex and Camden. I'm not trying to eat pasta, um, but I'll show you guys what I got for myself instead in a second. And then I got some organic diced jalapeno. Oh man, I got diced? I didn't want diced, oops. Anyway, I got jalapenos for the enchiladas. I got some refried black beans for the side for enchiladas and then some enchilada sauce. Um, I got some Method Clementine dish soap. I needed some hot sauce and so I picked up Texas Pete hot sauce. So this stuff is so good. I've talked about it before. It's garlic herb marinade and I marinate chicken in it and just throw it in the oven and it's delicious. So I picked up some of that. Um, I got some more of the Mr. Kooks Tikka Masala Simmer Sauce for the Indian chicken that I make like every single week because we love it. Some Prego Low Sodium Sauce. Um, Alex and Cam use this. I don't. I don't, I don't like Prego. Um, and then I picked up just some regular oatmeal to eat for breakfast with like fruit. Um, some of Annie's Shells and White Cheddar. These are Camden's like favorite ones. He also likes the Trader Joe's version too. All right, then I picked up some Oiko's Triple Zero Yogurt. So I got the coconut cream, the coffee one, and then two banana cream ones. These are so, so, so good. Like for dessert, they're amazing. Um, and then I got some baby spinach for myself just to put in like everything. And then two things of, oh, hi monkey. Two things of seltzer water. I got black cherry because that's our favorite flavor. I got Camden his organic Arnold bread because this is like the only bread that I can find that is not made in a facility that also uses tree nuts and stuff. So he sticks to this kind of bread. I got some more Boom Chicka Pop Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn because I'm like obsessed with this stuff. And then this is some new stuff that I got. I found in the freezer section. So it's Little Green Sprouts Organics Mashed Cauliflower Garlic and Herb. I'm going to try this for myself. We'll see if Cam likes it, but I kind of got it more for myself. I don't know if he's going to eat this. 
And then I got some rice cauliflower blend with roasted sweet potatoes and kale. That looked really good. I got more of these little sprouts, um, the veggie spirals zucchini. So this is what I'm going to have instead of pasta when I make pasta for Cam and Alex. I'll make myself the zucchini pasta. And I also got the butternut squash um, pasta too. I picked up some fresh guacamole. I got this salsa for myself to put on... I don't know, eggs or really whatever I want to put on it. It is medium, so a little bit spicy. I wish they had hot, but they didn't. Uh, peach mango home style salsa. And then I picked up Cam's favorite little Ninja Turtle muffins. Um, he also loves these little mini waffles. And some of his favorite yogurt. He's like obsessed with the strawberry right now. Some baby carrots for snacks, and Alex eats these every single day. And Cam also loves carrots as well. And then I bought... Um, just some shrimp for me to make like for dinners and stuff like that. Um, some baby tomatoes just to snack on. And then over here, Camden was out of shampoo, so I bought some of this um, sweet orange vanilla honest shampoo. And I got him some Cars Band-Aids because he got a boo-boo last week and he was so sad. We had like one Ninja Turtle Band-Aid left. So he like begged me to get more Ninja Turtle Band-Aids, but they didn't have them. But I think he's going to be pretty satisfied with the Cars. Some wipes. And even though he's completely potty trained, he's still wearing like diapers and pull-ups during nap time and during night. So I picked these up. We have regular pull-ups. These are nighttime ones, so I feel like they'll be better. Um, and I got size 3T to 4T just so they're like a little bit more roomier for him. And then I just picked up some paper towels and toilet paper. So I completely forgot. I also picked up these skinny dipped almonds. They're dark chocolate raspberry. It's just a little like sweet snack. If I just need some chocolate or something sweet just here and there, I figured this would be a good snack. Mmm. Oh, this looks so good. So it is Super Bowl halftime right now. Um, Alex went to go give Camden a bath and I have to go take a shower and start editing this vlog so I can get it up Monday for you guys. So I'm probably just going to end this vlog here. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in Wednesday's video. Kinda feels like this. Oh. Oh. Hey, would you stay with me till the sun goes down?